I know you're bored of your stock GTI tail lights, so let's upgrade them to look like this better looking Skyline mod style with quad indicators. It's simple to make. All you need is the rings of your choice, but the sizes have to be 90mm yellow, 80mm yellow, 100 and 110mm red. Grab as many clips as you can, a soldering iron, any will do, this was from Halfords, and Black Tiger Seal is the best in the game, no question about it. A drill, a marker, a 7mm drill bit. Do not cheap out on this, get a heavy duty face shield cause the first set I was making the cut into snap I went through my face shield went straight into my eyes I should have been blind that day but I got lucky So don't use a disc provided in the set that comes with your cutting machine Buy these metal cutting discs that don't break from Amazon Any cutting tool will do, just make sure you got this extension cause it makes life a lot easier Any glue that bonds to plastic and sets in 5 minutes is perfect for any broken clips you have You'll need primer and black spray paint, you don't need clear coat Cutting the lights open is very simple but whenever the blade gets stuck Pull it out and then back in again, leaving you with something like this and it should just fall apart or you can pry it open with your hands. Once you separate the lens, there's going to be loose plastic so you're going to want to clean up by hand all around the lens and the tail light. I mark each light with a marker so I don't get confused with which one's which. You can use a flat head or you can use your hands if you've got nails to pry it open and don't stress if you break the clips. This is the right outer tail light so you're going to want to drill a hole in the right side where I'm pointing at through it. It's held in by three clips, pull it out and remove the bulbs and you want to aim to drill where my finger is. Test fit if the wire goes through then put it back on and mark through the hole, take it off and then drill it through. You're going to want to test fit it as well but I'm going to show you how it's going to be assembled when you're done. You're going to want to pull it through both holes without it being bent, clip it in and connect it. It's the same step for the inner lights. You need to mask and tape the edges, primer it with 2-3 coats so it looks matte and then 2-3 coats of black and it should come out looking something like this. This is the sizes and which ring goes where. You can screenshot this for later for when you make your own set. I'm doing the inner boot light so disconnect it and the rings we're using is 80mm yellow and 100mm red. If you got these rings you need to cut roughly here and solder on a positive and negative wire making it longer so it can fit through the tail light. Then once you're done gluing the rings to the lens, you can solder back on the other half of the wire. Place your yellow ring in the middle then turn it over and mark where the wire comes from. Put the wire in and put the 100mm red ring on top and place it in the middle, take it off and repeat the same process for all the other tail lights. The holes should be on the right side for the right inner boot light and the right outer tail light and the left holes for the left lights, it makes wiring and working on it much easier. Now this is up to you, if you want to glue your rings on you can but I solder iron them on which makes it stronger as both plastics from the rings and the lens are melted together. You just need to push the solder iron through those tabs to make a hole and push down on the rings to make it sit in. When that's in you want to fuse the two together in a steering motion and don't worry none of the marks will be visible cause it's at the back. And here's another clip of it being soldered on. This is how your ring should look and I got this 12 volt power supply from Amazon but I had to sacrifice my old Xbox 360 power cable for it which lets me test if the rings are working or not before sealing it. Label which light is which so you don't get confused later and if you broke your clips this is where the glue comes in clutch. I use Gorilla Epoxy, all you need to do is just squeeze the life out of it and stir it for a few seconds and just apply it on the area of the broken clips and you should be good. Now for the final steps you want to put in the wires through the hole you made then clip in the lens and follow the wires through the other hole you made in the bulb holder and clip it in and all that's left to do is just to connect the other half of the ring wires together. It's the exact same process with all the other lights, wires go in first then clip everything else in after. This is where it can get really messy, listen to me when I tell you to wear gloves cause this tiger seal can stay in your hands for up to one week. You want to go heavy on the ceiling like this and medium light coat around the lens with a brush or anything will do just as long as everything is covered. When you seal the light go around all the edges wiping off the excess and you will need to repeat the same process once you put your clips or clamps on. You don't have to to do this but I just do it so it's a better seal. Once you clipped all of them tight and wiped the excess off again, let it dry for a day then come back to it and check for any gaps or holes and if there is a need just grab a dollop of tiger seal and fill it up. And your Skyline mod is finished, give it a try and send it to your mate that needed this. Please don't even ask me how to wire onto the car cause I hate wiring but hit up J Customs on Insta, he's wired up hundreds of these lights and let me know if I should buy a beat up Mark 5 GTI for the channel.